Tonight, a manufacturer here in Western New York is celebrating the past, present, and the future. Cummins Incorporated is marking a major production milestone, all while receiving a big boost from the state. Channel 2's Ron Plants reports from Jamestown, where the company is on the fast track to creating something that has never been made before. Here at the Cummins engine plant in Jamestown, a celebration of the past, present and future. This is the largest employer in Chautauqua County and apparently in all of New York's southern tier. This is the past diesel truck engine number 2,500, which rolled off the assembly line here at the Cummins plant for a big tractor trailer. And this is the future. The fuel agnostic transition engines like this one that will use natural gas to be built here at the plant as part of Cummins' plan to get to zero emissions by the year 2050. On the assembly line, you can produce a diesel engine, you can produce a natural gas engine, and you can produce a hydrogen engine. That's one. The way that we commonize this is below the head gasket, all components are similar. And above the head gasket where fuel delivery systems depending on natural gas, diesel, or hydrogen needs to happen, that can actually change. The Jamestown plant with the over 1,500 member workforce has been proud to produce engines for the nation's trucking fleet, along with fire trucks and other large vehicles. They are the most flexible workforce that we have uh, across the network, and they just really deliver each day. And so there is no better plant to invest this type of money in. This is security for our families and security for Cummins to so be here and last. Now Cummins is also making a $452 million investment of the Jamestown plant to build the new zero emission engines, also as part of the proposed federal hydrogen hub plan on a team including New York State, UB and Lindy. Since it was acquired by Cummins back in 1974, this plant marking its 50th anniversary next year and also getting now a $10 million investment from the state of New York with a promise of 90 new jobs and perhaps more for the future. Reporting from Chautauqua County, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.